Good afternoon, everybody. The government is working under extraordinarily difficult conditions. Many communications are down and remain un and many people uh, remain unaccounted for. The scale of the devastation is extraordinary, uh, as I think all of us are seeing on television, and the losses are heartbreaking. I pledged America's continued commitment to the government effort to save lives and deliver relief and in the long-term effort to rebuild. That it is absolutely essential that these efforts are well coordinated with the United Nations, which continues to play an essential role, and with the many international partners and aid organizations that are now on the ground. Search and rescue efforts continue to work, pulling people out of the rubble, often under extraordinarily difficult circumstances. Food, water, and medicine continues to arrive along with doctors and aid workers. The entire world stands with the government and the people. We all see the common humanity that we share. And as the international community continues to respond, I do believe that America has a continued responsibility to act. Our nation has a unique capacity to reach out quickly and broadly and to deliver assistance that can save lives. That responsibility obviously is magnified when the devastation that's been suffered is so near to us. It's characteristic of the American people to help others in time of such severe need. Uh, that's the spirit that we will need to sustain this effort as it goes forward. Uh, there are going to be many difficult days ahead. So, so many people are in need of assistance and the roads are damaged. Food is scarce and so is water. It will take time to establish distribution points so that we can ensure that resources are delivered safely and effectively and in an orderly fashion. We'll do what it takes to save lives. In this effort, I want to thank our people on the ground, our men and women in uniform who have moved so swiftly, our civilians and embassy staff, many of whom suffered their own losses in this tragedy, and those members of search and rescue teams from Florida and California and Virginia who've left their homes and their families behind to help others. Uh, to all of them, I want you to know that you demonstrate the courage and decency of the American people, and we are extraordinarily proud of you. I also want to thank the American people more broadly. In these tough times, uh, you've shown extraordinary compassion. And tomorrow I will be meeting with President Clinton and President George W. Bush here at the White House to discuss how to enlist and help the American people in this recovery and rebuilding effort going forward. It was an emotional moment. And this President, seeing the devastation around him, passed this message to the American people. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you very much.